very short. That mic. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. Uh, don't adjust your, your set or anything. This is not a repeat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is actually my girl. Emma Garcia is back again. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's like a flashback, right? Yeah. We, we should have thrown that little thing, flashback. You know what? <laughs> this, is, this is a bad flashback. Well, I know I we're sitting on the wrong side. Yeah, normally I'm there, but yeah. you don't want to win and sat there. You want to you wanna go back to a flashback real quick? Nah. Nah? Nah. We, we good. No, we, we, no. New, new, new. With new, new <laughs> studio, new things like that. But uh, before we get into you know all our love corner, what's up? What you been up to, man? Well, 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 first of all, first, this is for all your nay haters that think that all cause she left and y'all want to throw rumors. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying rumors, I, there was no rumors. rumors. <laughs> but you know what? If you don't have haters, then you don't have nothing to talk about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. See, this is what happens when you don't burn bridges. Exactly. You know, we, we keep it, we keep it cool. So. We saw each other the other day. Yeah, yeah. And it was like, oh my God. Like, uh, so I, I, was trying to, I was trying to get her to host. He was. <laughs> and I was burning hot. I was like, oh, you came to work? <laughs> he was, he was. But I was like, wait, 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 wait. But yeah, thank you so much for having me. I'm super uh -huh. excited to be here today. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all already know this is your girl, Emma Garcia. I'm back here today, guest co hosting with my man, Paul yep. Laloma. Oh, I, I forgot to um, Facebook watch, you know? <laughs> but. but you asked me how's everything. Everything yeah, yeah. is going good. I just finished my last, you know, semester as a junior. I'm about to be, you know, a senior. And I'm super excited. I got mm. cast for another show coming up mm. called A Midsummer Night's Dream by your very own William Shakespeare. Mm. I'm super excited for that. I got cast as Bottom the Weaver. I play a jackass. <laughs> a yes, donkey? Yes, gentlemen, a donkey. Get the I'm, heck out of here. Nah, it's like a fairy world. Now, nah, nah, are you doing the, the two-piece donkey or are you just one-piece donkey? We have not spoken about costumes yet. Because if you're, um, the, if you're the ass <laughs> of the donkey. I think I'm actually the ass, not the front. <laughs> In reality. But hey, no, but you got to do what you got to do. Exactly. That's acting. But this this character, he's the he... He acts like he's the director of everything, as he wants to be everything. But uh -huh. he's just the weaver. He's the helper of the king and queen of the Athens. And um, in this play, my character puts on a show for the king and the queen because they're going to get married. So it's a play within the play. Uh -huh. And I change um, voices. It's, three di it's like I play like three different voices. And I'm super excited for that. And it's going to be a challenge. I feel like it's going to be a challenge because it's, it's another male role. As you guys know, I did The Life of Galileo by Bertrand Borek. Thank you Break. so much for coming out to see that. I'm that was a, a shock for me because I was in character. Uh, I was, you know, get, I was performing, and then you're, like, sitting right there with your camera, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> hey, 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 <laughs> Got to support, so, you know? That was, thank you, and you always support. Thank you for always supporting. I highly appreciate that. Um, but yeah, that character is getting into a, a different levels of personality, which I have to figure out how to build. But so you're gonna play? Uh, but you, are you gonna play two parts, or are you just playing the donkey part? No, I'm not the donkey. The, the one of the fairies, because it's a fairy world, is Mr. Oh, Mr. gotcha, one gotcha, of the gotcha. Him into a jackass, because he acts like a jackass, because he, gotcha, gotcha, he wants to gotcha. direct everything in the play. He wants to play all the roles. He wants to play the war. He wants to play um, the king and the queen. He wants to play all those roles. So he's not only a donkey, but he's like a donkey for like five minutes. But I'm not sure how they're gonna like portray that on the stage just yet. But you know, See. that show comes, that play comes out in um, in November, and we start yeah, rehearsal yeah. in August. So yeah. Wait, if you guys have not done it, uh, you know we shared our stuff. But look how look how we look. Wait, my phone, why my phone is always dark? I don't know. Oh, I got a nice complexion. Yeah, but I'm this looking is, good. Thank you for the, you know. Is the phone, is, is my I'm phone dark? I'm up right now. Or is the color dark? I'm usually looking white. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah, see? I look pretty. Wow. Uh -huh. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all already know this is your girl, Emma Garcia. And there we're we go, there we go. here at the LDM show. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, my God. Oh, but my God. We, got, we got a lot of stuff uh, going on. So this week, you know, check us out. They got the pride, the uh, pride, yes. the regular um, on Sunday, which is the 50 year Stonewall. Stonewall, yes, yeah. the anniversary. Um, and it's crazy how they bring a world pride, pride. In, in New York. So now, as well, it started, down, it started started in New York. So. Of course, it started here, but you know how 
things are controversial and mm -hmm. you know we never had the, the ability to be so open the way we have you know the ability yeah, to but, be open now but and I gotta be a devil. Go, I gotta be the devil advocate. Here he goes. I gotta be the devil advocate. If y'all already know the <laughs> yes. LDM show, y'all already know he is yeah. always the devil advocate. Do you think it's going a little too far now? Like they really just trying to shove it down the people's throat? Yes. With the movies, the men's kissing you men's, know what? and and like not every single movie had to have a gay person. You know what? And then I agree. If, I'm a devil advocate right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, we agreed on something. something. See? Wow. See? Things change. They but, shifting. But it's like the movies, if they want to portray a gay person, they got to put two guys. Two guys doesn't really mean gay. You could put two women. True. You know what I'm saying? True. I haven't really seen that two woman they, thing. You know what? They put a lot, a lot of African-American gay guys. Yeah. yeah. You know? Like now you see them um, interracial, like biracial. Why you have black? See, why, why my brothers got to be all gay, though? You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, you know, to each his own. You like what this you love. Is a, it's a, com a conspiracy thing. But, you know, nah. you know, I just feel like I love my LGBTQ family. I love you guys. You know, <laughs> I got no shame in my game. I love girls, too. Mm -hmm. but, um, Me, too. <laughs> as yeah. you should, not a <laughs> but it's always a level to certain things. Right, right. And I feel like right now, like you said, they're trying to shove it down the throat. Mm -hmm. I, I could agree and I could disagree. I could agree. The reason why I am agreeing is because it's everywhere. It's instilled in everything. Yeah, um, it doesn't really books, have to. Um, it doesn't even have to. Books, mm -hmm. um, you know, movies, um, play productions, um, everything, everything. Clothing stores, grocery stores, courthouses. I mean, they have the liberty of being expressing, expressive. But no. a limit. You don't. Have, you can show the world who you are, but you don't have to Doesn't show come. the world who you are. Yeah, you know it's, what I'm saying? it's you getting. You understand that minimum because mm -hmm. it's everywhere. I mean, I understand this is Pride Month, so all the stores is like showing it all out. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's no problem. That, that is nice. Yeah, it's nice because you see the the color, the colors. Even uh, 149, they got the rainbow the, exactly, on the street. It's nice because we bring in the community together. Right, right. Because before people, you know, people were killing, you know, trans. Mm -hmm. Um. You know, those well, don't get it situations. twisted. It probably still happening, it's but no one is saying nothing. Yeah, but it's not as like you know, right, right. crazy as it was before because now it's the freedom of being who you want to be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, but it, it, and it, and it dawns me because now the LGBT got all this stuff, the blacks got all this stuff, the whites all this stuff, and the Latino only got one month, and y'all don't really complain about it. It's like true. yeah, y'all secretly, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you see how. The blacks push their issue and they got a lot of stuff. The whites, the LGB push their issue and they got yeah. all that. We don't really push the issue and there is a lot of issues. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But now you're getting portrayed as, because as an actor, I, I don't want to be portrayed as a, a drug addict too many times a or archetype. a gay guy. Or archetype. Exactly. Yeah, it's like, like, archetypes. like the Spanish people, that's all you're getting. Like, you know? <laughs> I mean. The crackhead. Yeah, I know. I know. That's what we see. I but, can justify you know. that a lot because um, sometimes when you portray extra and you do background work and you get that kind of type of work, that things, that's the way they start, you know, categorizing mm -hmm. you. So if you're going to go for extra or have that one line in Law and & Order or, and they continue from there, then you go for into a Netflix series. And this is the opportunity that that's open for you and you know how to play well of course you're gonna go take the opportunity because it's money it's oh yeah bag. oh yeah so i understand that us latinos you know, we play the crackhead the drug dealer mm -hmm. the killer because you know or um the rapist or you know stuff right, like right. that we get we get a lot we of just don't do the serial killer because it doesn't match us it doesn't match us yeah we do that for the white yeah, people yeah it doesn't really um, match <laughs> it doesn't really match i love you guys too no hate love yeah, em my emma you've been you've been you came back and they like they just like have your name there for like three hours. You know what I'm saying? Like Emma Garcia is still up there. Oh, you yes. know what I'm saying? Like yeah, for like a good it's two good. hours. It's good. The love is good. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> our PR out there doing what she do best. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, can you lower my mic down a little? Cause I I, I thank you. I, I seem like my mic. I see it popping up to the red area. Or is it me? Cause you know it's probably basing off of my loud ass. True. True. <laughs> true. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but it, it is true that, you know, we have, we have to push a little bit of more of the issues, like, uh, we do. just, um, especially what? with this gun violence. Yeah, 
Well, so much. There was always. It's that's the one thing. Um, they're, they're dropping like flies. Well, if you were to listen to my um, podcast, Speak Out, I was talking about, about gun violence. People in the government is targeting the wrong issue. The wrong entity. You're targeting the gun. No. It's the people. It's the people. If Let's say the kids. Oh, the kids are killing kids. Well, don't. Why? Where are the parents? <laughs> First of all, where's the parents? They partying. They, they, you know, they go in the clubs because now the parents are kids. Right. Um, second of all, you took all the programs away for kids. Exactly. So they got nothing to do but follow everybody else. Yep, yep, yep. I think they should instill programs in school, especially our after school programs from, right. from, from kindergarten to high school, just how they do it in college because college has right. programs. After so school I mean, programs. Pay, of course, you know, when you're taking classes and stuff. Right. But the issue is having something to have people come as a community and participate Wait, and, yep. and express their and, talents and, and dreams and yeah. um, things that they're good at because you know what, now everything's a cell phone and everything everybody's going to be hunched back by the time they turn yeah. old. You know what I'm saying? And not, not only that, support the, uh, the programs like ourselves that help the kids, you know, with teenagers and stuff like that. These programs been reaching out to the governments and trying to get grants and they shut them down. It's like... Um, this is the reason why. We got money for war. War that we don't ever have war for. Yeah, and starting, want to start it. war. Exactly, for no reason. Uh, uh, but uh, I give it up to the government now. Like, the stupid idiot um, chump is trying to start war, and here it comes, the Democrats and the Republicans trying to stop it, prevent yeah. it. Yeah. So he's trying to start it because of the money, I guess, and, and, and they're just trying the to stop it. Is, is about to, the, the, the Democrats is about to swipe away that wave. Yeah. They're about to get back into that office because... He ain't doing nothing but bringing more drama. All right, we understand. Yeah. Is he, he talks about things that sometimes have facts. But... He's a kid. I, I, he, I can't he, stand kids. He doesn't, kids. Know, how to be, he doesn't yeah, I can't. know how to be a presidential candidate. How, how are you going to attack me? You you are too what I am I. Like like one yeah. of those numbers. Yeah. Like He's yeah. like a little kid. I don't that know. Is, that's that's, that's it, very it's, absurd. Huh? Yeah. Like, Coming I, from a, a man that... I don't want to talk about him because... You know, yeah, he's an idiot. You know what's crazy? I had to play him as the... Um, for my improv class, yeah. my final um, piece, I had a, um, they gave me three different archetypes, and my, my professor gave me Donald Trump. And oh I had to portray God. Donald Trump. See, oh, my God. It would have been, been he, the Thank God it was improv. Yeah, for me, <laughs> if I would have done improv with Donald Trump, all I would have done was, like, I would have told my teacher, give me about five minutes, I'll be right back. I would have gone outside, looked for the dog poop, bring it back, and put it right on the floor. Donald Trump. Because he's a piece of... Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Improm. There you go. Donald, say something. No. Okay. <laughs> right, did I hear you right, right? But, it, you know, it, it's good. You know, these are the things that are going on. Um, it's, it's life. Yeah. What can we do about it? Speak up. Act, you know, be protest. And if that, if that, sometimes that doesn't even work. Just be who you are and just continue <laughs> living your life the way it should be. Uh, because... Whether you do something or not, it's going to yeah. justify. Not, it's not one person against thousands, thousands. and millions. Yeah. It, it's not, you can't make a sound. I mean, mm-hmm. you could make a sound because one person could change a whole perspective. You but know? even but, even if you have a thousand, it's just like the, the old saying, if the tree falls in the forest and no one's there, will you hear it? So you can have a thousand making noise, but if no one's there to hear it, are, are anybody listening? No, you got to make exactly. an impact. Um, shout out to uh, Bianca. She said hi, guys. Hi, Rhea. Like she want to make sure she said hi, Rhea. Like well, you know what I'm saying? Oh you, yeah, you gotta go on Facebook Watch. That's the best way to do it. But uh, as she's doing that, we we have uh, since we're speaking about the chump guy. Um, just a couple of days ago, the father that was found dead with his daughter trying to pass the Rio Grande. Oh, wow. um, first of all, for your English um, non-Spanish speaking, Rio is river. Grande is big. Right there tells me I ain't crossing this. That's a big <laughs> river. You know what I'm saying? And the rivers have a, a stronger flow yeah, than an yeah. ocean. The current, the yeah, current their currents and their flows are, 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 are worse than the ocean. So you got two things or three things going for you. A big flow, a river, and it's grande. Big. Um, so for him to sacrifice himself to cross that river... With that, uh, with a little child on the back, it must that have been very, something. yeah. But this is not the first. It's just this is the one that's been um, active. Uh, there was a lady saying that her, no. her husband, her husband herself, 
was okay. was Locking almost out. taken. Let's see. Did, did, did you? There what's, you go. What's Facebook Watch? What is that? Facebook Watch just tells everybody that you're um, watching a video, and then they'll all come in and watch it with you. So why, why I can't go on? You did your Facebook Watch? See, we're live. I, I got to show her. I don't be on Facebook. I post on Facebook. I don't be like doing all that stuff. Wait, I don't wait, be, wait. I, don't, I find myself not on Facebook. I used to be on Facebook, but now I really don't find myself on it much because it's like, there's too, too much drama. And, and, and first of all, update your thing. You don't even got Facebook watch. No, oh my you. goodness, Grace. <laughs> You know what? Now you can tell she don't be on it. She don't even update her app or nothing. Yeah, I'm saying I don't know. What <laughs> so you just gotta about. share. You just gotta share it on yours because you yeah. gotta update your thing. But um, what do you think? Would you, as a father, I'm gonna tell you this much. Again, I'm gonna be the devil advocate. Uh, okay. As a father, you're there to protect your child. Right. Right. So, what was it you protecting a child by putting them on your back and crossing a big river? Uh. With, with a lot of current you know and, what? and you didn't train for it like I, i'll tell you this much if i'm going to cross this thing i'm going to train i'm gonna put some rocks on my back start swimming you know get get my body right you know what i'm saying because you have a kid I don't and the kid moves I don't, around i don't even think that like like what made him what it must have been was, desperate it was real desperate for you was. to that's exactly what i thought but I he wasn't right. thinking he wasn't thinking he was desperate because he wanted to bring probably give his son another life Something different. But oh, would it, wouldn't it be easier to just leave your child there and say, Mira abuela, because we always leave it to the grandmothers. Yeah. Mira, you know, Mira abuela, take care of the baby. I'm going to swim this thing. If I make it to the other side, yeah. I'm going to push myself, and then I'm going to come and get her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's, it's a girl? Yeah. It, it, it was his uh, daughter. So, Almost two. two years old. And it's Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I don't watch the news. Yeah, but it's, it, I, I don't watch the news. The it's just news. I don't be knowing what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> just been spreading, spreading I wild. Live my life, like I said, like I just go get up as I go. I'm not too sure what's going on around the world, in the world, happening. I'm breathing. I'm here, checking. It's like probably like what, like six something, six fifteen, mm -hmm. six twenty. That's yeah. the best I know right now. <laughs> right on. But for your people that don't speak English. Uh, Translation? We'll translate it in Spanish. Um, Yo no sé, porque tú dejaste <laughs> tu esposo que vaya para el agua así de grande con tu bebé en tu espalda. Yo yeah. no sé por qué tú hiciste esto. And that, ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's basically. his wife talking to his wife. Why would you let your husband cross that big water, the, that big thing, yeah, right? Yeah, Rio like, Grande. El Rio Grande was a baby. Like, why? I don't, I don't, I don't, I, as a father, it, it, it bothers me because... So, Sacrificing is one thing. I don't even want to go to the pool. Yeah. Across the pool, my daughter on my back. Yeah, if you're sacrificing <laughs> it, it's one thing, but that sacrifice doesn't mean sacrifice your child as that. Yeah, yeah. So you took it literally when they said, no, you got to sacrifice your child. No, no, not like that. Yeah. Sorry. Um, I know I don't understand what's going on in the third world country, but it's yeah. not that bad that you have to cross the river with a child on your back, which you know you got a 10% chance of. Now, right. they said, hey, Charles, put it on your back. You got a 90% chance you're going to make it. Now I'll say maybe yes. But you got a 10% chance you're going to yeah. make that river. That 10% is Other people that have way. died without a child on their back. Yeah. But it's a river. It has current. It goes. I'm pretty sure it had one of those 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 waterfalls. Hey, como está Bronco de BWF? Está mirando. Ahora que... Branco, tú estás mirando también. Esa persona que cursó um, el río grande y se murió. Y tú eres un papá también. ¿Cómo tú piensas de eso? Pónelo abajo. What I said was, this uh, Branco, who's from BWF, is watching my uh, uh, Facebook watch, watching us talk, and I asked watch him. Watch us talk. Facebook speak. watch. Watch, watch, watch. 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 <laughs> But anyway, I asked him, how does he feel about the father, being a father himself, crossing the um, river? So he said, he's doing fine, so I'm waiting for him to uh, we'll answer. Back to that. Yeah. But before he replies, if, what do you think is the reason why immigrants are leaving their, like, their native home, like where they're from? Is it because of the presidency? Is it because of the, um, the drug cartel? Is it because it's... of the lack of food? Is it because of they hear that New York is um, a beautiful place and mm -hmm. you're free and you can do whatever the fuck you want? Not literally, but literally. 
uh, um, like, do, do they leave because of that? Well, I, no, it's because America because is not it, the land of the free because we're not actually e. free. We're like slaves because we have yeah. to work out nine to five, hustle, sell yeah. drugs to pay rent. Yeah, it's E, all of above. <laughs> That's E, all of above. So um, it's, they all picking because you can pick and choose which one it is. Uh, third world countries, like we, we, we want land from Mexico. Like there's army that we army have in base, Mexico yeah. or, and base. Why is it? I, I'm sorry to say, but Mexico, um, the only one so far I can say that was pretty business wise was the Philippines um, president. He told the army, you want to be here? I, you know what? I don't really need you here. I can take China and Russia and take a cut. Like, I know, let's say you're paying me $2. Russia is going to pay me one, but I'll take them anyway because they're doing something for our country. So that's business. Like, yeah. understanding, hey, I'm going to do more for my country. I don't care how much money you're giving me. Yeah. Mexico and all these other places, they don't do that. Like, okay, you're renting from here, but you're not doing nothing for our country. Like, yeah. Help us out. And we help help you, you out. out. You know what I'm saying? Help me help you, in other words. so Exactly. One hand washes the other. Because when you split up, that shit come right back to your And, well, he, he just commented that he, it's very, <laughs> his comment is very sad uh, it that it happens. Oops. I, shut, I don't know if it shuts my. His Facebook watch oh, okay. just yeah. caught a break. No, no. I thought it was going to cut off if I turned it off. I, I got to save my battery, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh. Yeah, it is. Um, and gracias, Branco, por um, escribiendo abajo. But uh, it, it's just, I don't know, it's just weird how, how people do that. But um, I think it's the food. I think because they... Well, they, not the they, food. They can, they, they can grow their own food and stuff like that. But, the, but Mexico got the cartels. No, they the got United the... United States is taking everything from them. And they're sending them back. Yeah. And they said the concentration camps is crazy. Oh, yeah. That's a, uh, the, those little, the, I, we know, I don't want to talk about listen. that because that's just, but, the makeup is going to fall. But in, in a way, you know, you, you do the crime, you do the time. You do the crime, you do the time. Uh, we should ask the immigrants. What? We should ask the immigrants. <laughs> oh, the, the PR? <laughs> well, if we're going to ask the immigrant, we are asking because we are immigrants. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I mean, technically, I was born. I, I don't even call them immigrants. I call them guests. They are guests. Because Immigrats. if you want to say, Immigrats. yeah, we're going to change Immigrats. words around. But anyway, with that Immigrats. said, we're going to take our break. <laughs> and about, uh, speaking about changing words, we're going to come back and we're going to talk about this uh, Latinx word that's trying to, um, you know, sprinkle, his way, sprinkle his way or come out the ground like a flower. <laughs> but everybody keeps stepping on it. Um, so we're going to be talking about that. So let's take it away. Just kick on another song, whatever song. You know. Stay tuned. You know, oh, we got to hold on. To, oh, we got to hold, we got to. And again, Emma Garcia is blessing hey. us again. You know what I'm saying? Friends are always, this is what I talk about. Once you're in the LDM and you don't burn bridges, I, I'm not, I don't want to say once you're in the LDM, you're family. You don't burn bridges because family doesn't. Exactly. We always support each other no matter what. So, That's what we do here. Hey, uh, check us out. We'll be right back with this commercial break because it's getting a little warm with these lights. Whoa. <laughs> Are you an independent artist? Well, have it. As mighty armies clash in a struggle for total domination, the scales can be tipped by one man who has the courage to confront his fate and make a choice that will decide the fate of the world. <laughs> that guy's put a lot of smoke in today. Wow. But anyway, were you expecting a real superhero? I don't think so. The real life superheroes are the ones that are helping out in their community today. And the LBM show will be there to bring you the events and stories to life. Do you know a real superhero? Let us know. But for now, Follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and like us on Facebook. Also visit our websites for photos, videos, and updates. But until the meantime, hey, I gotta be out of here.
Hi, I'm Alex. I'm Javier. And join us on El Latino Ruido every Wednesday at 6 p.m. on the LDM Network. Hello, I'm Charles Aloma, and I'm proud to announce a new internet television station called LDM Network. And on this station, we're going to be bringing you live talk shows, music reviews, independent music artists, videos, sports, live events, and much, much more. Go to www.ldmnetwork.net for more information and all the shows that are going to be on this network. Again, that's www.ldmnetwork.net. And hey, if you are an independent artist or you love to hear independent music, go to our new radio station called LDM Radio. Go to www.ldmradio.com. For more information on where to listen or submit your music. Hi, and welcome <laughs> back to the LDM show again. I'm sitting here with my girl, Emma Garcia. What's up, what's up, what's up? If you're just now tuning in, y'all missed a good conversation. Yes, yes, yes. Catching up, talking about some good stuff that's going on. In the world, in the world well, today. Well, not good stuff that's going on. More but, so yeah. logical stuff that needs to be touched on. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And speaking about <laughs> logical stuff. There's a word that now they're trying to find, and I just found out by Emma and uh, Rhea that it has been two, since 2004, yeah. uh, Latinx. Latinx. What is Latinx? Latinx is supposed to be a word that brings all the Latins together, men, female, whatever you are. So in other words... Their own community. Latino. Latinos. Why Latinx? I thought we was Latino. You know, you know why? I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna go towards my conspiracy moment. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna turn black now and, and hit the conspiracy. X. What does X mean? Marked out. Mark out. When you're wrong, what they do? X. X you out. You know what I'm saying? X marks the spot. What they do? They dig your Target. ass and they throw you oh. out. Bow. You're targeting everything. X Men, mutants. No yeah. one wants them. Exactly. So what? So. What? You, you so know what? is is it a white person that? Build it into a, a Latin person and said, yo, let's do Latin X because we don't want y'all anyway. Y'all mutants. You know what? So I don't want those words. Just like X, panic, panic, it was in there. I didn't like that word. That's why I use Latin. Latinos, it's for everybody. Latin. Primos. Primos. It's for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Pinche ways. <laughs> yeah, que pinche way and all this. You know what I'm saying? It's like. Because well, we're all Latin. If we look at it, like, even where you come from. You know, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, um, mm -hmm. you know, Mexico. Um, <laughs> I, or, or I like, love when people say that. All Spanish. And they only name three. Puerto Rico, no, Dominican because, Republic, you know, Haitian, and Mexico. Haitian is Latin, too. Haitian, <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying they do it to the three. Salvadorian, Guatemala. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just don't, um, we don't want know, to go down the list, but you know what I mean. Yeah, you know, the, the Caribbeans. La the don't tropical. use Latinx, please. It, I mean, I, I'm banning Latinx. I don't like the word X because the, of uh, the... conspiracy you just said, X, 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 that kind of got a little tuned because it's like, uh, it's a revelation between trying to find identity, um, revealing, like, revealing the identity you're, like, most with. Like, you know, are you a boy? Are you a girl? Are you just, um, human? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't um, know. Either or, you're a gender, regardless of the fact. You're a boy or a girl. There's nothing in between. You know what I'm saying? You can't be a boy. I mean... <laughs> you can't be a boy. What? You can be a boy and a girl. That's like hermaphrodite, right? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But Latin X? Latin X? I don't Latin know. X. I don't like the word X. I don't X like marks it. the spot. When you're wrong, they exit. X-Men, they don't like them because they're mutants. So, so you're trying, so to, you're trying to tell trying us to we're mutants. Latinos don't, no sirven. Yeah. Like, we ain't nothing. Like Latin X. Like, cross out the community of the right. Latinos. Let's take them all out. Let's remove them. And let's still yeah. what? If you say ex Latinos, it's the same thing. You're yeah. scratching off Latinos. So Latinos, no. That's what you're trying to say. Like, come on now. Nah, uh, hey, are are, are we that, that. Um, asleep as Latin? Are we that not in a community? Are we not woke? Oh, oh yeah, we are not woke. Are we not woke? I don't well, know. now I'm you are woke. if you're watching the LDM show. Exactly. Latin X is not a word to be used for Latinos. I'm sorry. The X does not mark the spot. I'm telling you this much. I don't I like can, that word. I I, agree. When I heard that, and, and, and it's been since 2004, so that tells you nobody really cares for that word. So y'all millenniums but and now, all these now. people that want to try to bring out new type it, of words. It's because the fact that, you know, people are learning their self-identity, learning who they are, 
Because that's one of the biggest, deepest challenges. All right, learning, so no problem. Learning who you are, because you never know who you are until you become who you are. All right, so, so, so millenniums, we're going to use a new word, Latin history. Let's, you want to know who you are? Latin history. That's like how that. you know who you I are. Like that. You know, I don't know who I am. Latin well, look history. in the damn mirror. <laughs> look in the mirror, and that's who you are. Well, the mirror is a different. The mirror shows a reflection. It doesn't show who you are as inside. Well, then open yourself up. No, don't do that. Don't do that. No. <laughs> then they're going to be like committing suicide. Yeah. That's all censored. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but uh, if you don't know who you, because that, that word too, I need to know who I am so I can be out with you and to embrace the world. Creque, mandito, sea la madre. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to know yourself to embrace the world. You're sounding like a damn hippie right now. Listen, if it's you don't... There's nothing wrong with that, though. No, no, but if you if don't know yourself... If you expression, right. then it's fine because that's, you're still learning and you're in process. You're in progress. Okay, so how it's long... Better. How long that you're in the outside world, that you're learning. Because there'd be 70 year old, 60 year old talking about, I'm learning who I am, so I can embrace and be well, a better person. Well, because goodness they, gracious, 70 years in the world and you don't know who you are? And sometimes the reason why, because they fall into traps and mistakes where brought them into such as drugs and brought them to a different kind of world that was not their perspective. Because a drug is something that's given to, you know, people given to the society because right, right, right. it's placed in the society by the government. Because not medication is drugs. Prescriptions is drugs. That's not common. Every time, every time she, <clears throat> conspiracy, I got to throw the hands up. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's all part of circulation to bring people down, to eliminate people because, you know, it's too much of a population of in humanity. And if you look at it in reality, that's why the crops and everything, things are, food is being cloned, things are not real. That's why put food as a steroid, all that crazy stuff, and really look at it. But to go back to what I was saying. She, she went all the way to the conspiracy. She sounding political now and stuff. But it uh, sound political yeah. because no, you but it, six, it, 70 years old and not understand who you but are. But I tell you, you want to know who you are? Over your body. Right. And when you break that habit and you become clean and become then you somebody know. else, you, you develop like a child again, give yourself that experience. Right. You go into, see some, into somebody else that you didn't know that was there yeah. because you took away from your own life. But if you definitely want to know who you are, go to jail. Come back. Because notice the people that go to jail come back out, they, they have their speech. See, right? I was incarcerated with the ability <laughs> and with the ability of not speaking to the gender of everyone. Let me step the hell up and go out there. Try to act like you smart now. <laughs> you, you be hearing that when they coming out? Like, what the hell? You can get your what, what I'm trying to say, brother man, for the other man to embrace us, and we need to come, and they be making words up. Like, you don't even know what that. We need to concipiate. What, what the fuck? Concipiates to a gather. What I'm trying to say, brother, you got $5, let me, I'm trying to get a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, That's um, so hilarious. yeah, it's true. You, you, you definitely want to break the pattern. If you see the pattern, um, and that's one of the questions we're going to be talking about, Love Corner, um, people complaining about the persons they with. Uh, but if you break that pattern of it, then maybe, what? you know. We, we're going on a break, or we're, we're still conversing? Because no, we, we're, we're still, we're okay, still. Okay, because I was watching um, Jada Pickett's, um, you know, she has the Red Table Talk. Oh, yeah, with her daughter? With her daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and they were talking about preliminary. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. About how being preliminary. Yeah, she even admitted that she had a threesome. Her daughter, right? No. Jada? Jada. But is, when she was young, her daughter was like, oh, my God, I don't want to hear this. But is, is, they had a couple on there, and... They spoke about how, you know, you could be one way with a female and then be another way with a male. You right. don't give the same attention. It's oh, different. yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. I understand why people are still trying to find who they are because it gets this, like a, a chemical, like it's like a chemical, chemical imbalance. imbalance. No, it, it, it's called. It, it, attra it's attraction. attraction. That's what it's chemistry. And you can love guys. You can I, love men. Yeah, you yeah. You can be with a woman and just her by speaking the intellectuality make you fall in love with that you know oh no saying? no yeah i so know that but why, it's cool to have both sides of the world you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah but Boy not not girl. if not if you uh <laughs> five months I, I i think it's it's mostly um since, since we're already talking about it let's hit it up we're gonna go to love corner right now so <laughs> you might see a little sign going by saying love corner but uh love corner is the difference between everything but in a man and a woman's uh, oh, point finally, of view. Oh, finally, I got to tell you that women are okay. always right. 
So now yeah. we're, we're going to talk about that. Women are the ones that mostly complain about their mates. It's it's on uh what's because that magazine uh mates, People magazine because their mates can get to the level where no. the woman wants but them to be. It's because it's uh research the women's complain more about their man is because they have a uh, a step a potential for a person but they always going after the person that has nothing to do with their list. Mm. So that is the one problem that a lot of females are getting. So in my and in, in uh, ghetto words, if you pick someone in the corner, don't be mad. Ten years later, he's still working in the corner. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. It's like um, you surround yourself, even with friends who enjoy doing the things that you love to do, and especially if you're trying to get in a relationship, you gotta have to find somebody that has that same. Yeah, mama, I'm, I'm I'm like, you need to put some brightness in there, ain't? Or is I, it my phone, right? I think it's your phone, because uh, I'm okay. feeling my, my but anyway, color. As long as, as long as we got the digital camera go recording right us. So, but yeah, if you, that's like me, if I'm going to pick a, a, a female crackhead, you know, and I, ah, that relationship didn't work. Now here I go and I, I picked another female crackhead. Then you got a pattern. You know you what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I'm, basically. But then I'm going to get mad because she finally got clean and she became a crackhead again. I'm going to get mad. No, when you met me, yeah, I was, was a crackhead. Crack yeah. You know, I, I just know. I just reduced myself from the big pipes to the small pipes, but I'm still, you know. Exactly. I took but, a one dose extra now. Because I've it. been hearing that a lot, like on the phones. Oh, this guy, well, he'll never change. How was he when we first got him? Some, you know what, that's not true, because you have men and women, I'm playing both sides of this, um, you know, right, 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 yeah. right now, because you have men and women who... When you first start a relationship, it's like flowers, candy, good, you know, um, <laughs> food, restaurants, all that good stuff. But mm. then you got two, three months, four months, five months, it's all good, good, good. Then that year peak kids, it could possibly still be good, but then you got the comfortability that pushes in. Remember, right, comfortability right, right. is strong. So yeah, yeah. when that mother effer come through, pop, everything, or the wall goes down. You, yeah. you go to sleep without your faha, your eyelashes come off. You, you been talking about, here, yeah, baby, hold my wig for me. Hold my wig, <laughs> brush my wig, flat uh, iron, you know what I'm saying? Men is like, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's, that, that's, that's okay, the comfortability. The comfortability. So things start to shift because, you know what, now character and perspective starts to play in. People start seeing their true selves, right. how they are when they really by themselves. But the one thing that doesn't change in the comfortability is the way you met them. So if they're yeah. in the corner... They still go on being in the corner after the comfortability. Yeah, so why know, are you trying to change it? Unless you have one of those good girlfriends that right. picked you up in the corner, cleaned you up, and made you into a better man. But how old? Hello, how old is, uh, should you be? Nine oh two. Fifteen. Holla at your girl, Emma Garcia. No, no, but in, in reality, <laughs> if you pick a forty to fifty year old man, yeah, he, he working in the corner. Don't think he gonna change. Leopards do not change their spots. Unless the gets SSI, then he gonna stay home. Yeah, you know, then, then you work them out, put them, put them up in the thing. But at the, you only do it for the last week of the month because yeah. it's getting close to that month. Yeah. You know, you want to get his money. On the 28th. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. Not even the 29th. After the third little... and the fourth, you'll be like, listen, go get, you, you're bothering me. Get out of my face. Like, <laughs> no, but uh, in reality, ahead. sometimes if you get a uh, 20 to 40 in between there, yeah. they might change because now they want to become a family. Yeah, of course. But if you get one of these guys that are not family or wanting, you, you're not going to change them. I'm sorry. Sorry, mama. You can be in the bus talking all this. I told him if he doesn't change, this is his last time. I know it's been 500 times, but this is his last time. He's not going to change. I feel like if you're in a relationship, you always have to come to a common ground and understanding what you like, what you don't like. Don't do this. I won't do that. You don't do that. I don't do this. What are the things, you know, look at each other's point of views and how y'all feel together. Because if, it, if you, ladies and gentlemen, if you feel the vibe in your stomach and it doesn't sit well, he's not for you, let him go. Or let her go. Let him go because that means because he don't. Because your vibe sits comfortable in any energy yeah. that's, that, that's comfortable and positive and open. That's so true. Negative energy sits in a bad way and you feel it. Yep. So if you Trust feel me, if, if you there. feel it in your stomach and everything, let them go because they don't know how to cook. I've been that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. They don't know how but to cook. Even the ones that do know how to cook. <laughs> no, no, but it, it's it's uh it's a serious moment because if you do 
like sit down and speak and let them know. But that first time that they do something out of the ordinary that you're going to be like, ooh, this is not going to continue. I hope it's not. Yeah. Let them know. Be like, um, yeah, I know you, you went out with your boys on our day that we were going to chill, but this is not going to be all the time, right? You know, speak yeah. about it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Not just, <sighs> watch, you want to go out, and then the best thing y'all girls do, and we've seen this so many times, me and my wife, this is Hootie, y'all go on the phone. Oh, he want to go out? All right, I'm going to put my dress on, boo-boo, and I'm going to go out. I'm going to see what he's going to say. No, it doesn't work that way. Yeah, that that only makes conflict because now you now you used to missing yourself down. Yeah. You're lowering your standards down, showing him like, oh, you mad tacky. Now you yeah. want to pay that card. Opposed to being like, you know what, you're going to hang out with your friends. I, yeah. you didn't invite me to come. Okay, so I'll see you later. Call me when you get in the house because maybe I can come to your house. Yeah. And, and, be like, and then you just say, see, when they say that, that means that there's going to be a time that they're going to go out and they're not going to invite you. Exactly. That's what they're trying to tell you. But at, at the same time, it's not conflict. Just like we were in a Chinese restaurant, and this lady admitted, boy, where were you? I called you 20 times, and I know you're working and going from, I guess he was going to one place to Rikers Island, like transferring people, yeah. but you're going to tell me you couldn't pick up the phone? Wait, the key word was he was working. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Leave her. I would have left her. 20 times you're going to call someone, and you just said the key word. Okay. I know you were working, but you couldn't pick up. Guess what? I'm going to give you a little advice that a man does. You call me three straight times and leave a voicemail. Where are you? Blah, blah, blah. Guess what? If I'm working or I'm with my boys, I'm not picking up because guess what? I know you're going to argue. I know you're going to start yelling and screaming. Yeah. So you're not going to mess up my day. I'll deal with that later. Because that's yeah. what the, exactly yeah. what the guy said. I'm going to deal with this later. Boom. And hung up on you. I'm just telling you the truth. That's yeah, as a that, guy. Guys get irritable quickly. Yeah. You know what I'm as a guy, I'm not gonna. Because we feel we get all this emotion. Like what? Oh my God, he's at work. He does this. If something happened, he didn't answer. Please let Lord let my man be okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then you have a lunch break, and at your lunch break, you're gonna call me. Because if you don't call me, then who are you talking to on your lunch break if you saw my See? 20 minutes call? There you go. There but you I'm go. I'm not gonna argue with you. I'm gonna let you look stupid because there if you're you in a situation. Where you try to get in contact with moi, and when what? I'm done hanging out, I'm gonna get back to you, and we yeah. can talk about it when they I get home. Every day on their lunch break. You should. No. You should. They should on call your you. lunch break. Yes. You have to call every day. But you know what it is? No, not like, every day. You know why she's saying that? Make sure you text me good morning, cute. Good morning or something. Good. But you know why she's oh asking God. shit? Up? Because, again, a oh. pattern. If you're gonna be calling someone, I need some sweet. All the time on your lunch break, right? Listen, 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 ladies listen, and gentlemen, listen. boys and girls, we, we just got some tea. Yes, yes. Let, let, let me let me explain to you something. If you <laughs> if you had a job and you call every time on your lunch break, yeah, then you start changing a little. Yeah, changing attitudes, changing something. Then you stop calling on your lunch break. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to on your lunch break that you have not called? Them? Exactly. Hold up. And I just Ubered you food to your job? Uh-huh. You know what? Damn, Uber? No, no, that's too much money. That, uh, Postmates? Mm, no, not even. I'd be like, excuse me, are you going Are you going, are you you going? going that direction? Just, yeah. To say that. I, I'm cheap. I'll find someone going that direction. What stop are you getting off of? Oh, okay, can you take this to this lady? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. getting off the right. By the time, by the time he gets it, it's going to be all I know, it's all gone. No, no, but she gave me some good when there's a pattern and then the pattern you breaks, start it starts looking funny. Like, that's... Even, even I, you know what? I'm a big person on that. Like, when I like somebody, I like them because if the connection is there, the connection is there. Right, right, you know right. what I'm saying? If the connection breaks, then you're lost, not mine, because it's a privilege to know me. You know what I'm Ooh. saying? But at the end of the day, mm. um, speaking facts, that if you're talking to somebody consistently, every morning they text you, good morning, how you doing? Hope you have a great day. Or I'm going to call you when I'm on lunch. And this is every day. And then, like, this is two weeks straight. Three weeks straight, a month straight. Then, like, you know, the fourth week pop up, lunch break come. You know the break time. Mm. They don't call you. You know that text message or that picture, that selfie, it hasn't came through. Mm. Who are you sending pictures to now? Who's on the other line of your phone that's exactly. entertaining you? And I would... if you want, unless if you go sleep with people who gets claustrophobic when things are starting to move fast, yeah. Then that's understandable. But you got to speak up on that, too. Because us females, we get emotional. And then we cut you off, and then you You don't mad. see how emotional she's getting right now. And, exactly. And, and she's single. So imagine exactly. if she was with someone. Ex he, he, 
Woo! He will be calling but, uh, every uh, time on his lunch break. So now, now how how <laughs> do you feel since we're talking but about? This is tea because you you stirred up the yeah, pot a little bit. You know, so I want to know what's going on. So no, 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 no. I'm it's not just a pattern. That's me. Uh, a pattern. <laughs> is this a is this a, a a sub? No, no, no. It's just when pattern breaks. Okay. You just gotta adjust to the new pattern, but yeah. in between adjusting to the new pattern, it's gonna be a little like, okay, why you didn't call? Why you didn't pick up? But then you, you catch yourself because I'm not gonna be like, oh, you know why I'm stressing. What I do is. But if y'all live together, then y'all should have stressed because. Right, it's right. Like, but you know what I do is like, all right. Still stressed because you never know. <laughs> I just, I just don't bother. I just don't bother like with texting. But then someone would text back. Why you didn't text me back? I'm like, okay. First of all, then you just say, I don't gotta tell you everything that I'm doing. And when that happens. Wait, wait. Yeah, when that happens, this is what I want to bring for the older people. Yeah. Eddie Murphy, delirious came out, the stand-up. Remember when he said, I just want a girl with a bone in her, 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 her uh, nose, riding a zebra, she don't know nothing. Then she comes to America and meets these Americans and talking about, Eddie, what have you done for me lately? Like, you know, they, they pull yeah. shit in her, in her head. So when people change, guys start thinking, is it your friends changing you? Yep. Or well, something like that. Is your your job changing you? Is the attitude changing you? Or is it because you're not satisfied with me at home anymore changing exactly. you? Exactly. So that's when you it starts throwing it starts throwing suspicious stuff around. It makes you feel like why things yeah. are not going the way they used to. But when I say two tears in a bucket and say anyway, we can't say those words, but um, the effort word, but um. <laughs> UCK. Right. <laughs> Uck. We got a new word. Uck. Yep. Yep. New word of the day. Uck. But uh, how, how do you feel when, um, if you notice your pattern, how would you break away from getting that corner person and be like, wait a minute, I need to get someone on, just like when I'd be passing by and I'd be seeing these drug addicts or, or thugs trying to speak to someone. Or zombies. Yeah, I'd be, I, I pass right by the guys and, and Rhea be like, one day they're going to punch you. I pass right by and be like, know your level. Know your level. I tell the guys. Because uh, you'd be hollering at the girl. Oh, damn, girl. Oh. I'd be like, learn your level. Mm, she's here. You're here. Yeah. That that old girl is not going to get her. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You got to show the gold card or something. Then that, get, that you can get that one. You know? I feel that um, when you start off in a, in a level, because we all start off at levels. We right, right, right. We start off with liking certain people when we're younger. And as we get older, we become uh, more see, see. intellect and we start, you know, Developing a change in what kind That's of That's a woman. Like. Us men, we got a level. Anything we can get when we first start. <laughs> <laughs> Anything we can get, we explore all the way until we figure out what yeah. our type of girl is. That's true, because y'all yeah. elegant. Yeah, yeah. Really Once we figure out our type of that. girls, then we. we That's your MasterCard. Y'all go yeah, for the yeah. big ones, the little ones, the tall ones. Hey, the we go for everything. Even the fish the stop. Pig. Even the fish stop. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> but uh, it, it, it's true. Then once you know your 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 potential, your potential or your level that you want to go with, but it happens to me. Like when I was uh when I was single and everything, some of my friends used to be like, "Yo, my way back when 1982." Yeah, some of some of the uh, female friends I had, <laughs> they was like, "Yo, Charles, my friend likes you, but I told her to try to go with you, and she was like, "Nah, he's not my level. Like he's not gonna pay attention to me." So it, it could be a downfall as well because sometimes you portray yourself yeah. too high yeah. that other people don't want to even, they be like, ooh, no, damn. Like, for example. They're like, like, for example, <laughs> a, a lot, I've bumped into men who are intimidated by me. Yeah, it's like. And I don't know why because I'm such a beautiful woman. That's why. You know, they're like, they'd be like, okay, wait, she looks like she has it all there and everything. A little she, crazy. You know, they don't want to, <laughs> well, all women's got crazy, especially Latin people, you know. They got Latin the crazy. <laughs> yeah. But uh, when you see a beautiful woman, but um, I was looking, I was going to post it up too. Beautiful women could be look beautiful until you guys open your damn mouths. Some yeah. of them, because I've seen this beautiful uh, Morena. She had like not too dark, not too light skin. She had a, I looked like she was in a business suit. She was coming nice walking. As soon as she see one of our friends, she was like, yo, what's up, girl? Oh. Yo, you know how many guys went like this at, wow. 
Like, you know, that means you just turned the ugly. You just turned looking like Shanae just now. You know what? You look That's like Shanae. That's true because a lot of men go off a of first impression. Mm hmm Which, I mean, is satisfying because I go off a of first impression too sometimes, um, which is good and not good because your first impression could lead you into something that could have benefited you or could have made things worse. Worse. So it's hard nowadays. Yeah. To but get your first impression will get at least through the door. Yeah. So if at you're least door, at least yeah. through the door, if you if you want to talk ghetto or if you want to act ghetto, wear ghetto clothes. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? And you guys, I'm sorry to say, uh, I don't want to be like, oh. I'm so excited to finally be here and talk my my, my beep. Crap, be right? Censored my crap because, you know what, girls is always right. And we haven't even had like a, a debate because debate. you finally realize that us women are completely right. Well, we didn't say that. We just won't let her go because now she's a guest, so I'll let her go with that. But uh, guys, I'm going to give you a little point to the guys. You know how they say you can take the person out the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto out the person? Exactly. Can you? The guys are approving it every single day. I said, and I, I, don't, I think it has to do with the owners of businesses too. Your dragging of your pants all the way down, your sagging, your, your hair, the way you're wearing your hair, your clothes and everything. Doesn't look right not sure in certain patterns, right? right in certain areas. Um, if you're in a in a uh, accounting or a business thing and you have a suit on, but your suit is all the way down here and you're walking like this, because I've right seen clothes, it. Put your right size on. Yeah, I seen it. So I'm gonna say uh, uh, clothes appropriate for jobs. Let's say, like you know, okay, McDonald's I can understand, but still, it's a uniform. Keep it. Nice. nice, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you don't want to walk at McDonald's with his sag is, his pants are sagging. I see. He got it. a whole stain on his shirt, and his gloves is dirty. And, his and he's a cashier. He's like a how cashier. how you got all that dirt and everything? Excuse me, sir. No, Can no, you no. please change your gloves? Yeah. So I I think if you want it, <laughs> if you want to succeed as men, if you want to succeed, dress the part and act the, the part. part. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you want to dress like a ghetto person. You want to be and, portrayed as a ghetto yeah. person. So put it like this. Let me let me go outside in a ghetto person and then be like, excuse me, sir, how are we doing today? We're pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take a look. At, they're gonna look at me like, what the hell is wrong with him? It's because you know why they people get offended when you speak proper English. And then you wearing ghetto clothes. And you wearing ghetto clothes because they, because you know society has made. Uh, yeah. Like oh, shout out, guys. shout out, not to cut you off, but shout out to Damian Anthony. He said. Presentation is everything, social and business. Exactly. Yes, it is. Exactly. It is. It is. It's an image. You're creating your own image. So, you, you can imagine me, you know, not, not to pat myself on the back, but the LDM is being known <laughs> out there. So you can imagine me outside going, yo, what's up? Yeah, yeah, I'm chilling in the corner like by myself. And people are going to look at me like, ain't that the business owner? Yeah. You know? Now, if I'm wearing the ghetto clothes and I'm hanging out with my boys, they're going to be like, yo, this is Charles in his out of suit. That He looks yeah. cool. Yeah. Because I'm, the clothes is matching what yeah, I am bye. doing. Yeah, your, your clothes matching. Bye. Right. So. so you're not going to be talking like your queen queen. Yeah. Hopping your head back and forth with a suit on. That, and that's this. Where you work at, sis. That's why when they say, <laughs> that's why when they say uh, uh, one of our brothers uh, uh, are wearing a suit, they be like, oh, is yeah, it a funeral? Job, yeah. um, interview, or court date. Or court date. Court Which court one date. is it? They never say you have the job, or you own the because, business. or you own the business. It's because but the don't, way you don't don't get it twisted. There's a lot of black owned business. Give it up to them. Oh, yes, yes. There's a lot, a lot of, of small owned businesses out there. Yes, you know, but, owned by the Latinos and the black community. But those guys, because when I go to a network party and stuff, they like. Guarantee you look at them like they think they somebody. They think oh they forgot about us. No, they didn't forget about you guys. They're just they're, that's how they have to portray. You have to portray the way you. I'm so if you're in a sure. three a three piece suit. Yeah. Italian leather um shoes, hair silk back, Ooh. tie looking good. Ooh. The girls looking at you like damn. I need a cigarette. Matter of fact, you coming down the steps like Cinderella does. You know what I'm saying? Everybody looking at you, and then all of a sudden you be like, yo, what up, my niggas? Only when you go on a prom. How 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 that gonna look? Tacky. Exactly. So when come on, right. guys. Come, we we as men, as Latin and, and Black Americans, we need to portray ourselves better. Exactly. 
So stop saying that the man is holding you down when you're holding yourself, yourself down. down. Oh. And this way, and now I'm, I'm going to attack Ooh. the women's. Wait, what? Women. I'm going to attack the women's, yeah. Keep on with that oh, Yo, no, keep with the oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. If y'all women's yes. Women. push them to portray themselves better and be like, listen, I'm not talking to you because you're like this, you the can't society get me. society will be much more cleaner. Yes. Push them because now <laughs> okay, I, the, the guys are like, you know what? I'm going to dress like I want because girls are going to want me anyway. If the girls start yeah. saying, no, I'm not going to take this because I want your whole potentials, guys will start changing. Exactly. They, guys, you know what I'm saying? Guys, women love potential. Like, y'all yeah, men love women with potential. Because you know what? You know what I, I dislike because I don't say hate? How many minutes? We only got one minute goodness. Gracious, great well, balls of fire. We're we going to have to hold that thought because I don't think what I got to say is one minute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess you're going to have to wait till next week to watch because Emma's going to be here again next week. Uh, so... Can I, can I, and can and I matter of fact, we're not live next week. We pre-recorded though, because it's Fourth of July. So right, but can I get a, a quick thought? Quick thought. Re quick what thought. I have to say is, if a woman wants a man to be his whole potential, a man wants a woman to be their whole potential, they have to find themselves first in order to project their reflection onto somebody else. Because you cannot be here barehanded without being ready to give and, and receive. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So that's the last yeah. thing I have to say. That's what what she's trying year. to say is, you got five dollars because we want to get some pizza. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> hey Emma, thank you for coming this week. That's it. Hey, What's the that? LDM show. Wow. Hey, we cut it down to an hour to show. That's why we're so used to having a two hour show. But yeah, I'm hey, gonna wait, what? I know, right? But it's a one hour show. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much for uh, having me. Hey, um, thank you for having me your on the career, desk. Keep on going. Thank you. Keep on going. I am. To be or not to be. That's next, time, <laughs> next time um, when I have a show, you could actually I have my cast come here and you can interview us, the whole entire cast. And have the director, and we could have a great show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then shout-out to everybody that was commenting. Thank you for everybody that Continue was watching. Continue commenting, share, uh, like, follow us on social media. Follow Emma Garcia Emma as Garcia, well. Emma Garcia, and you can follow my art page, Emma Art Collection underscore. Please follow that. You won't be dissatisfied. Oh, yeah. And the uh, collections, check out the LDMnetwork.net, and check out the new LDM collection outfits. Sh mm. Shoes and all. We'll be back next week. Well, Pre-recorded next week. See you next week anyway. Bye. <laughs> God bless. Take care. Woof. He's got me. He's guilty. Of loving me. Hey, you've been watching the LDM show. Let us know what you think about this episode. Hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. We value your opinion, so please let us know, and let's get